Hi everyone, welcome to another rock and style video. We've got a demo here called Zom's Planet. I mean, Reggie created this one. <clears throat> Reggie did a lot of the design work. I obviously did some of the more complicated stuff. And basically it's our character Zom, our favorite character who walks around this planet trying to dodge the blue balls and picks up the gold gold eggs to get points. And there's other ways of getting um, health points. And basically you've got to watch out for the black balls as well. The black balls are really nasty and, and, and can kill you off quite fast. We have a teleporter in the game, a procedural maze that we created. So every time you play the game, the maze is different. There's health packs to pick up. There's these mega health packs that give you a lot of power. And the mega health packs and the health packs actually fall from the sky. Bit of a spawn, spawn point here and might be another one higher up in the sky where things fall out of. Um, they're mainly the health packs to fall randomly on the ground every now and then. Um, so yeah, there's a few spiders, but all the spiders are dead. So something strange has happened on the planet. <laughs> um, you saw the black balls over in the distance over there. Um, yeah, those ones we just need to be very careful of. They just can kill you quick. There's some baby little green balls you probably can't see here, but when they hit the blue balls, they get big. Um, just so again, it's just learning Unity 3D basically. And we're going to go into this special little room we've built here. It's got some special things inside it. Some items, some gems to make you go faster. Um, there's a forest in the background. We may not need to go down there, although there will be a key that's randomly dropped. So this little spawn point here drops a key, which we're going to use to get into the door, into the castle. But basically, we can just walk in the door anyway. It's unlocked. Okay, so let's get this underway. I'll go straight to the title page. Um, let's just go to the title page. It's just a screenshot, basically, um, from the game. Um, not exactly highest res, but let's get on the way. Okay, if we look to our left, um, some weird spider explosion happens. It's sort of something we're just learning to do. Um, I might show you the procedural maze. If we just walk through here, the best way to drop off into the procedural maze is at this point here. So let's just walk off the edge. Okay, so there's a maze there. It's got a whole lot of health packs, um, which seem to be a bit difficult to pick up because they're colliding, I think, with the wall too often. So you're supposed to collide with them, but the collider doesn't recognize them very well sometimes. Um, so I'm not going to really demonstrate that. I will show you out here, though, collecting um, this medical pack for health points. So on. There we go, we got it. So our health went from 1200 to 1300. I don't know if you've just seen another health pack drop out there. Um, but let's just go up here. So if you look back down there, you can see the procedural maze. Um, again, it's just a demo, a bit of fun. Let's see how we go. Um, okay, bit of a bit of a lookout point here. Um, so those little, as I said, those blue balls, when they hit the green ball, make them bigger. And they get to a point where they get so large that we basically see them roll off past the stop sign over there, off the edge of the game. I'm just going to restart this because I want to get a better lighting. So when we walk down to basically down the other end of the game hopefully we've got better lighting um hmm, i think our lighting is not very good again so bear with me for a sec i'm just going to exit and get that lighting right just so you can see the door or the building we built i'm not too sure why the lighting sometimes does this with unity um, but i'm just going to have to bail out see the light brightness just came back if i press play it seems to be related to when I go to the menu. Whenever I go to the menu and come back again, I'm not sure if anyone knows why, the light seems to dim. Here we go. See, the light's back now. Um, because if I go to the menu though, I'm sure it's reproducible and yeah, it won't be the best. Also, if you hit this gold ball, the big gold ball, I think it starts breeding other little gold balls. So I'm just gonna do that now and show you. Just remember where they come from. You hear that noise? They're coming from the dragon up there. See the dragon? Every time we hit this gold ball here, you'll see other ones come out of the dragon. There we go. Heaps of them are coming out of the dragon. See that? Just a little little part of the game. And also the, this dragon statue on top of the hill does. Oh, there's black balls around here, is there? Yeah, over there. Gotta get out of there. Not a good place to be. You hold the right mouse button down, you go faster. Okay, so the little gold balls, if you collect those, you get more points. So what are we on, 600, if we collect this, we can go to 650. This is just a demo game, by the way, guys. You know, we're not professional game builders or anything like that. We just like to have a bit of fun. Or get out of the way, blue ball. Oh, Jesus, kiss, follow me. Oh, to go around this way. You don't hit the blue balls, they take health points off you. Um, there's another health pack. Let's see if I can get that to register. Come on, give me the health. 
Oh, he's getting away. You have to try and run in front of the health pack to get it to register. Okay, and here's our secret passageway. Now, there is a key further down in the game <coughs> that spawns. If you pick that up, it's meant to lead you into the building here, but we've just unlocked it anyway, so here we go. What's in here? Ooh, I should be safe to go in. Oh, no, this, oh, jeez. That black ball takes a lot of health off you. So I think it's 500 every time it touches you. So we're just going to run in fast and try not to get hit by any black balls because they really stuff you up. Um, there's a few Pokemon models have stuck around. Um, Pikachu's got no ice, but oh, there it is, a blue gem. Get that, you go faster. Spe yep, speed five now. I'm actually, yeah, speed six, yeah. Okay, there's another one here. Oh, there, see, I've got minus health now. I haven't actually got enabled to death. So basically we're okay to live for the demo, but I would have died then because we're minus 300 health. So let's just get out of here. And okay. So Daddy's doing recording right now. So Daddy's just gonna go for another place. He's gonna show where the transporter is. And then um, <coughs> show you what it does. It's a lot of ground to cover, it's a, it's a pretty big map. It's a pretty big game, but it's just a bit of fun. It's, it's, obviously, you know, there's not much objectives to the game. It's just, it's basically learning how to use Unity, to be really honest. Um, as I said, we, we just, what's that there? Just, there's a, something you can collect in there, but I haven't got protection on, so you don't get burnt going in there. Let's just jump in here to the teleporter. Very simple teleporter, takes you to another part of the game. Another part of the map, um, which will show you there's a bit of a forest here. So we put in a few trees, nothing exciting. Um, but what I want to show you is that somewhere over here that we should be a key. So the key does drop randomly to the ground. You've got to keep your eye open for the key. Um, without hitting any of those blue balls. There's one of those special mega health packs, so real sparky thing down there, there. But there should be a key somewhere down here. Usually if it's not in this open area here. Oh wait there, is that it there? I think we found it. <coughs> Look how big that ring ball's got now. Okay, keys over there, and I haven't put the code in there, but you basically just should be able to just pick that up. Um, you can kick it at the moment, but okay. We'll just go over and have a quick look at that super mega power pack, which is just over here. If we get behind that, we should be able to collide with it, which will take a bit of work, and we should get a lot of health points back, hopefully. I think it's a thousand health points. There we go. Five, so we're up to 550 health now. With a speed of six, I think we can go speed seven. There must be one more of those blue items left, blue gems. <coughs> okay, I hope we didn't get squashed. Boom, boom, boom. Underneath the big green ball. There's more of them over there getting bigger because they keep hitting the blues. Okay, and that's about it. I'm not sure if there's too much more to show in this demo. Um, I hope you liked that little demonstration of uh, Planet Zom. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.